you go with your past life regression? Uh, it was good. <laughs> I'm still getting back. Um, I, I've had this right shoulder pain. And uh, it had started, I forgot how many, how many years ago, but it had to do with, I had transitioned to a, I don't know, a practice that did a lot of computer work instead of normal writing. So it's been on and off, mm -hmm. but it's gotten worse lately. So I thought, let's work on that because <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm trying to figure out what the heck, and it keeps trying to, obviously, something's trying to re remember, because when we went on a family trip, one of my falls, I landed directly on it, and it wasn't bothering me, it was pseudo bothering me, but then when I landed directly on it, it flared up again, and so, and it keeps waking me up at night, stuff like that so um, anyway so I thought okay let's just figure something out here why is it there so the first life that um, I went to I was somewhere I lived somewhere in the Alps on a farm around 1910 my name was Annie and it was strange. <laughs> that was pretty funny. So today I'm wearing blue and white. And I was wearing blue and white there. So, um, I don't know. It was in the Alps. It was a hilly place. And it was a farm. And the outfit, now that I think about it, it was very Amish-like looking. And I know we went through Amish country, so, um, but I don't remember if I was Amish or not. I lived on a farm, and I remembered um, something happened in a barn, and I had injured my right arm somehow. And then when he said to go to the next significant time, it was the birth of one of my children or whatever. But um, by that time, I had lost the use of that the right arm. Um, so I was, it was uncomfortable giving birth. Obviously, uh, giving birth is uncomfortable. <laughs> but um, it was difficult because I couldn't, I remember I couldn't hold my leg with, I couldn't use this arm. Um, and I, I think my, my name was Annie. I don't know. So, what was the high learning? Um, yeah, I just rose above it. Uh, I don't know. There, it was a, actually a pleasant life. It wasn't like a terrible thing. It was just a life where I was limited. Mm -hmm. Um. I mean, I guess the higher learning would be, you know, it's okay to be limited, you know, life goes on kind of thing. Was it, I mean, I, I tended to like, when I went up in, in between lives, it was e easier to be there mm -hmm. than yep. it was to be, it was hard, it was a, a good life, but it was a really hard life. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of work all the time. Mm -hmm. And then, there was and then a second not one? having the use of the arm was a problem. Mm -hmm. um, but there was people to help. It wasn't like I was by myself. It wasn't a terrible... Well, the second one, I was in Jerusalem. I was wearing white and blue. Blue and white, rather, or whatever. Mainly white, but blue. Um also had an injury in my right arm mm -hmm. um, I didn't no notice anything bad about my life except that then you said to move the, to the next significant moment um, I was one of the spectators at the Sermon on the Mount so because I, I guess I must have gone to mm -hmm. get healing 
mm-hmm. of my arm because I was always in pain. Um, and like most everyone, I was my name was Mary, but I, I had no sense. I wasn't like Jesus' mother or anything like that. I was just another Mary in the mm-hmm. crowd. It was nothing major. Um, but yeah, I saw my the sandals that I wore and Mm-hmm. And that's it. And um, and I was pretty far away from the. You know, mm-hmm. he was all the way over there, and I was just part of the crowd. But I could feel the energy. Mm-hmm. And um, the high learning and lesson for that one. Uh, was was to tell my arm to get better. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus is saying you can you can do this more. So I remember it, it, there'll be was that the one that he even said there's going to be more people better than me or something. I forget. Mm. But peace, something I remember the peace part, and he said always remember about love, and I remember that part of it. Um, but you know because of both lives there was arm pain. Then my arm pain had gotten worse during during the sessions. Mm-hmm. So um, when that would happen, it was hard to really like stay there and understand what was going on. It's just, I just got a glimpse of what was happening. And then I, and then when you said lift and go up, that felt much better because then I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't in the body. Mm-hmm. Um, so what did you bring back to the body in the crystalline cave? Oh, that uh, that we need to, we need to tap on the arm and tell the cells to repair mm-hmm. whatever it is that's going on there, whatever inflammation. So you didn't ask the guides to do that? Uh, we they tapped on me, oh, yeah, okay. but I I was still in I was still processing the pain. It's sort of like the pain came still came back with me, kind of mm-hmm. thing. So I was still I was physically uncomfortable, so it was hard for me to separate. But I did have them tap on me. I just didn't know what, how to, in, how, I just let them do it. You know, okay. I had my Black Panther there as usual. I had my mm-hmm. crazy ass girl with the out, iridescent outfit as usual. And then Jesus was there. He was, he always does the tapping. But anyway. <laughs> so got, when the tapping was done, was the pain still there? Or was it, um, it got better. Mm. It got better, and then mm-hmm. now that I'm talking it through, it's dissipated. Mm. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Awesome.